Okay, there's a veal. Maybe you can see what's going on. We're going to do some beating now. Beating and beating. Okay, so. Right now we're... We're about two, two and a half lines on both sides. This one might be half more on the other side. But mainly it's too wide. So it's high here, dead nuts on the bottom. And just past is where that one's at. So it needs to go down when I'm holding this flywheel. We don't want to beat on this side because that's the weak side. And the upward pressure right now is right on the edge of that weak side. Because it's going to want to go up when I hit on this. Okay. I've got a little, a little hammer here. There's a little 20 pounder lead. Just before nine, just before one eighty, it's where it's on that one, right there, which is just a tick before one eighty. So that kind of centered them up. Now I got to try to bend it in. Pretty equal, but that might be that side slightly more. All right, so I need to be right in the middle. So we got two ways of doing this. I can, well, I got three ways. I can put a C clamp on here and tighten it, which isn't really strong enough. I can take this toy here and beat the tar of it on each way like this sideways, which is how I usually do it. Or I can put it in press. Which one do you like? The easiest way possible. That'd be the press. <laughs> is it the most calculated way? It'll collapse. If I measure it, I know where I'm at. Here you go. Don't drop that expensive. What about that wood? It's gonna fall over here. Tools over here. Important tools. Okay. Okay, where's the crank? You need a hole. I need a hole? Like that one? Mm-hmm. That works. Okay, how much you want to go? How much pressure? Mm -hmm. Did it move? 
Mm. You can't see it move. If you release it, will you see it? I see the whole thing moving. Yeah, it moved. I'll come back over here and measure it. I know three now. More than expected. <clears throat> so these move a lot easier than cams. Like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> so that one's uh, twitching. Mm -hmm. Half a line. That one's still out pretty good though. Same problem you had on the last crank. This uh, one was out. Yeah, it's about the same spot. Slightly different. And this one's high over here, which is way different. You're almost 180 part. It's hard to fix that problem. High spot. High spot. So it's high here. That one's high on this side. I think I quit moving on this side. When is I quit moving? Not moving anymore. Probably needed to just set it. Probably in a burr over here. Is the needle working? Spring tension on it. Mm-hmm. Just needed to set it. It's not moving now. When things don't move, they're broken. There, I fixed it. Springy. I had to get back on the spring, so. Okay, now it's got an air in there. It's making noise too. It's high right here. on the strong part of the crank so I can hit it. <clears throat> get a pointed hit. They didn't like me, didn't do anything. Mm -mm. Maybe move, maybe not. It takes a lot to make these move. Mm, move slightly. Instead of being here, it's here. This one's high on this side now. It did move. Moving in our favor though. It's high and high, so the crank pins in the middle means you twist it. Mm -hmm. Get back on this side. I really don't like hitting on that side if I can avoid it. You notice I shoved them really hard as I hit it. Mm -hmm. Way the pressure's on the bottom supporting this, you don't hurt that so bad.
Uh oh. Yeah, I didn't like that. That moved it. Back on the bottom. On this side right here. Same spot. About the same spot again. We went too far and I'm gonna twist it back now. Mm. On the bottom. So over here a little bit. Here's another one. Well, another hit. It didn't really move. A little harder. Hit the impact a little bit harder on the table. Got his attention a little bit. Still on the bottom, but maybe slightly past now. Over here on this side. It's just past center. It's over here. Part going that direction. It acts like the concussion wave did more damage than the hit because it got more twist in it. Mm. Even though I hit it the direction, take twist out. That happens. Good solid hit. Where's this one at? It's back on the right side now, see? So it came back to the other side now, it's over mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And this one's at 90. This one's down here, so this one's slightly higher than this one. So it still needs to go down a little bit, not a lot. So it's a little bit less hit. But still hard. When you're close, you gotta sneak up on it. You might hit it five or six times to make it move because you don't want to go too much and have to come back on it again. Okay, this side's getting pretty good again. Just before the bottom now is the high spot on that one. And that one is at the bottom. Still needs to be more. Got to hit it hard enough to do something. <coughs> Just before bottom on that side and was on the bottom. Hit it harder. Getting close. It's almost not moving again, but the needle's working. <laughs> 
springs on it. See? It's pretty close now. We're half a line above. Let's see where we're at on this side. It's got kind of a twitch going over here. It is a little higher on the bottom though. There's a crank pin just past the bottom maybe. Where's this one high up? This one quit moving. Oh no, it's really moving. It's squeaking again. Go get that spring back on there so it's fresh on it. These false numbers. And on the bottom. Okay, so this one needs to go in and it needs way more than this other side because this one's barely moving. So we need to go in and slightly down, but mainly in. So that's going to be a side whack. If you whack it, it's going to go in anyway. Mm -hmm. Going to go down. You actually have to push it down. That one's pretty much quit moving. It's all about this side now. See, dead center, same thing. I think I got too much siding to put some more down in there. Much of it. Mm -mm. That angle for me to hit. Playing with it. That was a good hit. <clears throat> that hit it. You can see that crank is bounced back as you do it. There's a set of right 45 degree inside the flywheel. But it didn't do anything though. It's all flex. No, it moved. See we're in a different spot now? Mm-hmm. Dang it, Mark. It came up a little bit. If any other one's high out right here, it's hardly doing anything on that side. Okay, so this needs to go. Needs to go down. That moved up the wrong direction or too much one or the other. It didn't like that. Oh yeah, it didn't like that at all. This one didn't either. It's definitely high right here. All right here. Needs to come down. Uh, 
No, I don't think I did anything. Not swing hard enough. That sounds good. Yes, I'm just not happy with us at all over here. It's the same spot. Gotta wake it up. Doesn't want to get up and go to work. Man. There you go. I'm going to put spring back on it. There you go. It's still one good. You sure the spring's on it? I can hear it squeaking. We know the spring's on it. Oh, yeah, it's on there. Yeah, it's got tension on it. Yeah, it, was something, it was sticking something. Your attention on it now. I think we found a sweet spot. <coughs> I think I better. I think that's about everything. We'll leave it alone. I think we should leave it alone or we'll leave it, it alone. Or knock it out. Which one's moving more? This is where I come back to fix and make it better. Okay, it's still high in the bottom. And this one's still high right here. They're almost 180 part. That's hard to get out. That doesn't come out very easily. All right, we got it. And then at this point, I, it seems like it don't want to come out. Look at the inflate now since everything's true. Look how much inflate we got. Because we had none before, remember? We got. 20 thou in there now, so it's good. Before it was all bound up. I'm happy. All right, I think I can live with that. You see, you can't true up press cranks. True anything. Just gotta use the right tools. <laughs> all right, and we know this thing works, but I still don't know how much fuel because I didn't do it. But you didn't really feel it move that last time, though, right? No. Pulling up, no. So down, you got more of a. Pulling down, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. When you're pulling, you're, you're yanking hard on it. Plus, I think when you're yanking, you're you got a steady pressure on like a press is, mm -hmm. so you don't have past. Whereas you're bouncing your weight up on it, it's it's a short pulsing type thing. That's why hydraulics don't really work. You can't. There's no feel. Yeah, there's no feel in it. Just it keeps moving. It keeps trying to move. Once it moves, it keeps moving. That's why when I was pulling, I was waiting on you to tell me if it was moving. Yeah, and it moved. It was in the video. So you can see it all of a sudden the clearance is whoosh, moved right out. But you can't tell me what pressure that is. That's the only bad part. But we know this has got, this is holding up the, this bar is holding up pretty good too. So, so that one is a quarter wall tube we put in there now. So that doesn't. It doesn't flex. It don't flex like the eighth wall stuff. But it's heavier. And now instead of five foot long, it's eight foot long. Eight foot works. Yeah, it's a little bit long for the shop. <laughs> seven foot works. Seven would be, seven and a half would fit in here a lot better. Seven definitely would be nice. And seven a foot. Five is too short. You cut, cut a foot off of it. Yeah, that sounds like work. <laughs> cut a foot off and that'll be it. All right, that's it for inlet cranks.